What's up guys, it's your boy in the Maple Room, and I am back for another video and I've been looking through the strongest characters in Attack on Titan and the potential in certain characters and I've been looking at Gabby a lot. She showed a lot of potential as just a human, like her abilities that she has as a human are pretty amazing. So when you get into her, if she became a Titan, that's a whole different conversation. So yes, I'm here to talk about Gabby as a Titan shifter because... Man, that would have made a whole difference in the whole show and how everything turned out. So let's get right into it. Okay, so watching Gabby in season four of Attack on Titan, she gets introduced and her and Falco are training to be allowed to become the uh, Armor Titan. They're going to choose, Marley is going to choose who becomes the Armor Titan and Gabby and Falco are competing for that position. And one thing you get from Gabby once Aaron attacks Marley and stuff and attacks her people, she is angry. The her rage. That's a scary thing to think about. The same way Aaron got attacked years ago, and you seen the rage from him and how angry he was and crazy. You seen what he's doing now. He's just destroying everything. It's the same thing for Gabby. Gabby is just angry and she's just ready to take out whoever she can and that's what ends up taking out sasha this little girl took out a, a a scouts member a strong scouts member and that just shows a, that shows a lot of ability and how much her rage can make her do something like big like that she killed a scout that's pretty impressive so yes that was crazy and then she killed a few more scouts when she went to paradise island she started killing a few of them and she didn't kill Aaron. She was nowhere near close to killing Aaron, but it was a few times. She got close to doing some crazy stuff in the show. It was scary how Gabby was so determined to take out Paradise Island. And sometimes you was like, man, I'm just ready for them to, to like kill her or something. I'm ready for them to take her out because she is just a crazy character. She's just so angry and stuff. But you got to respect that she's willing to go so far to take out some of those people in Paradise Island. So that would get her far if she's a colossal titan that rage she has a passion to kill paradise islands people that would be very big and a beer very big threat to paradise island and yeah it would also help her titan too you know when they when these titan shifters rage that makes them even stronger so yes let's continue to the next one Okay, Marley had so many great soldiers. You had Zeke, you had Reiner, you had Berto, you had Peak, you had Porco. These guys, they learned crazy techniques, great athleticism, great skills, and they use that with their Titan shifters and stuff. And Gabby, we seen Gabby and Falco doing some crazy stuff. They was fighting on battlefields and stuff as kids. So you know, Gabby has crazy skills, and we're going to get to some of those later on. But, yes, that, that just plays a big part to it. You see what Annie ended up doing. She learned some stuff in Marley. Well, that was kind of her dad, but that also was Marley also. Be, but that MMA-type style, takedown-type style, that was impressive. I don't know if Gabby's going to be on that level because Annie was straight up taking down adults. She was taking down adults as like a teenager and stuff it was crazy so maybe they learned a little moves like that because aaron learned it he learned it in like a second and he was able to take out like adults too he was taking out reiner and gene and stuff he was doing some crazy moves he was doing some impressive stuff so yes if gabby gets moves like that she would probably be one of the strongest characters because annie was beating up reiner she was beating up aaron and she was putting up a good fight against levi and stuff and if you put that on a titan you see what Annie did. So, yes, I'm going to give Gabby the benefit of it. I think she could be on the same level as, like, the athleticism, the, the the fighting style of Annie. I think it could be a possibility. Or she could be a Peak, where Peak is so smart on the battlefield. She's going to get something from Marley. The main point I'm making is that she is going to gain something from that Marley style of fighting. And when she goes up against Paradise Island, it's going to be nasty for Paradise Island. So, Yep, let's continue. What's up? Okay, the next one I'm going to talk about is this sniper that Gabby had. Gabby was getting some crazy shots with this sniper. And I, at first it was like, okay, 
the Sasha one was like, okay, she just has the sniper. That's not that big of a deal. Then you got the Aaron shot. It was like, what? How did she do that? Then you got the shooting, the, the Titan on Aaron's final form Titan. It's like Gabby's tripping. And she had that shot she had on Falco. She was tripping. Well, not Falco. You had a uh, Flock. Flock. The shot she got on Flock at the... Uh, the harbor and stuff that that was a crazy shot too she just is going crazy with that that sniper and i think they were preparing her possibly for the like the evolution of like the bigger guns against titans and stuff because you know they was making those big weapons for titans and these weapons were able to take out titans and stuff imagine if you give a titan shifter one of those guns and they can use it like in a fight or whatever that would be so helpful it's kind of like the warhammer titan getting weapons and stuff but the marley military military would give gabby those weapons and then she could use that against like the scouts and the other titans on the island that would be crazy and she wouldn't even have to get physical with her titan form so yes i think that could play a big part in everything gabby's like power level and yeah that would put her up above a lot of times if she could use a sniper and be crazy with her titan abilities like some andy any style of titan like a fighting style that would be crazy so yeah you might think i'm kind of being unfair she won't learn all this but why not if she has all this info coming to her she could get it and it's not hard to find though that information like the weapons they were getting are crazy and andy reiner knows andy so he could teach her more some of andy's moves that he have have seen in person so yeah that would be a crazy weapon to have. Okay, so Gabby to me is just a smaller, more skilled version of Aaron as a kid. Aaron as a, as a kid did not have military training. He did not have the weapon, like, he didn't know how to use weapons and stuff and learn how to fight and stuff. That was not Aaron as a kid. So to me, Gabby's just a angry, more skilled version of Aaron. So... I'm going to assume she has like an Aaron type of IQ. She has some, she has pretty great moments as a little kid. And Aaron couldn't even do certain stuff like that. But Aaron still turned out to be pretty gay. That great, that might be because Aaron has the, the you know, the founding titan and the memories and stuff. But still, Aaron was still smart at moments. And yeah, man, I think Gabby would be on that same type of brilliance. And it could come out while she's fighting and stuff. She's, she just has a lot of stuff going on with her. The military background and the the weapons and stuff will be crazy. So, yes, Gabby, to me, is already on smarter than Aaron. And we've seen Aaron as a teenager. He's crazy. Okay, my final point of this Gabby video is Gabby has somebody in the background that's going to help her and teach her everything about Paradise Island. And if she takes the, the Armor Titan... She has somebody to teach her, like the expert at the Armor Titan, Reiner. Reiner knows everything about the Armor Titan, what makes it stronger, what makes it weaker, what points to hit on the like the Armor Titan's body. And he would just help her get stronger with the Colossal Titan, the Armor Titan form. And then he also knows about Paradise Island, so he could teach her about the people on Paradise Island and yeah man it's just gabby has so much going for her and i think she could become one of the top titans not the strongest i've already talked about the strongest ones but she would be one of the top titans maybe aaron maybe aaron that fought reiner and porco with the warhammer titan maybe on that level if she knows how to use every titan ability that would just be crazy but tell me how y'all feel about gabby man just tell me how y'all feel about this whole gabby becoming a titan and her power level stuff do you think she will suck as a titan shifter because falco kind of sucks a little bit and he was kind of keeping up with her or do you think she's good do you think falco actually is good and was keeping up with her because you know he became a titan shifter and he's pretty powerful as a titan shifter but i got another video coming out about falco today and i'll see y'all in the next video anime boom out peace